and we are live. I think we're live as always with these live streams. Please let me know in the chat if you can hear me and you can see me okay. And welcome to the first video of this week and it's going to be an unboxing video. Uh, this is Amsterdam, uh, the number two game in the Steffenfeld City collection from Queen Games, which uh, I think an update went out yesterday or today. Uh, with an update on the shipping of this game. But I believe if you've backed this game, you're going to be getting it at some point in the next few weeks. I think. I don't know. Let me know in the chat if you've backed this game and if what I'm telling you is correct. Anyway, I've got advanced copies of it because I'm doing videos on the game. Last Friday, uh, just a few days ago now, I did a tutorial and playthrough of Hamburg. I didn't get around to do an unboxing video of that because I, I the game arrived literally a few hours before we did the playthrough. Um, but I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of Amsterdam today and this Friday Nick and Gemma are coming around and we're going to be doing a tutorial and playthrough. So 8 o'clock Friday evening UK time there will be a tutorial and playthrough of Amsterdam. Next week I'll be doing an unboxing video of New York City followed by a playthrough on the Friday and then the week after that same with Marrakesh. Anyway let's jump in and if you notice some darker areas on my play mat um, it's because I've spilled some water. So <laughs> not enough to damage the game, but that's it. Now, this is, I believe, this is the retail version of the game, but I've got the extra boxes with the deluxe components. So we're going to look at the basic version first, uh, and then I'm going to show you the extra deluxe components. And we've also got a pack of the cards with the language on, uh, with, with the text on, because the base cards that come with the game, you will see uh, it's pure icons. They are language independent. Get that out of the way. Um, but yeah, there are some additional cards available if you want the ones with the text on. Right, off we go then. So we have, similar to Hamburg, we have two booklets. We have the rule book, which contains obviously all of the rules of the game. It's for one to four players. So there is a solo mode included in this game. And similar to Hamburg, there's the base game. And then there's a whole bunch of extra modules that you can use to customize the game. So that's all in there. And... If you don't have the language version of the cards, if you've just got the ones with the icons, then this addendum will basically, every single card and every single tile and every single effect is in here, and it gives you a full description of what they do. The first couple of times you play this, or when you're teaching somebody new, you're probably going to need to refer to this book to understand what the iconography means. Uh, but once you've played it a couple of times and you get to know the iconography, you probably won't then need the book. Right, let's have a look at what we get in the box. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Classic version, that's what it's called. Right, we have two decks of cards. We'll open those in a minute. It seems to have gone very dark all of a sudden. Um, we've got these uh, rondels or wind roses, as they were called in the original game. Uh, we'll have a look at those in a minute. We've got a bag. We've got some wooden components. We've got some extra Ziploc bags. We have some dice. We have the German rule book and the German glossary. We won't need those. Uh, and then we've got some cardboard puncher. Oh, that one's come loose. That goes there. Does it go there? It goes there. Uh, so we've got two extra sheets here and I am going to punch out some of these and we've got the game board presumably. So let's move these to one side and let's get the game board out. For those of you who don't know, this is an updated version of Macau. Macau is one of Steffenfeld's earlier games, and this is a re-implementation of it. It's rethemed. It's set in Amsterdam, obviously, hence the name. Um, but there are some rules tweaks as well. So over the course of this video, I will be referring back to Macau, and I'll be saying, oh, and this is new in this version. Um, yeah, so what we've got is we've got the city of Amsterdam, and... This is the area where all of the goods will be placed. So all of the goods will be placed on these buildings at the start. Players will be collecting these goods, loading them into their barges. And then this top half of the board is where you sail the barges round and you deliver the goods to get points. That's a very rough overview of one of, one of the things that you're going to be doing in the game. There is a lot more that you do in the game. Uh, but that's a very, very rough overview. Right. Player boards. So each player uh, has their own player board. Let's get the one out for red. So your player board is actually long and thin. That's your that's your player board. Let's just put it up there so you can see it. Uh, and what you'll do is you will be playing cards below your player board and then you will be activating them and moving them to above your player board. So yeah, cards below your player board. Um, you don't have a hand of cards in this game. Your hand of cards is effectively the cards below your player board. And when you activate them, you move them up. And when they're below your player board, you can't do anything with them. You have to pay the cost printed on them 
beforehand. Uh, so yeah, so we've got one punch board with that. We've also got some money. Uh, so Gilders, I think it is. Gilders. Anyway, your money's stored, you're stored in your pouch. So quite thick, chunky cardboard there. Uh, we've got another punch board here. Right, and this has got... Oh, that's a fold-out sheet. This has got this board on, which is quite a big board. Now, what's this bit for? Ah, this might be for one of the expansions. Is it for main expansion, or is it from the base game? I'm not sure. Oh, no. No, it's base game. Right, so this goes on the, on the table somewhere. I'm going to have to zoom out a bit on how to get everything in. Um, the dice are a part of this game. Um, it is another Steffenfeld, very, very clever mechanism with the dice. Um, but let's go to the wooden components. So, lots and lots of wooden cubes. Loads and loads and loads of wooden cubes. And during setup, you will basically place those cubes onto these buildings as a place to keep them. Uh, I might use my uh, plastic tubs that I've got as well, just, just to keep them all in the same place. But maybe not, maybe not. Anyway, so what you're going to be doing in the game is... Where's the dice gone? Have I lost the dice? Oh, and there's big cubes as well. So there are big cubes when you, when you want five of something, um, because you can end up with a lot of cubes, and sometimes it is easier to just use the big cubes instead of uh, five little ones. Uh, where have I put the dice? Here's the dice. Yeah, in Macau there wasn't this extra board. There was, you just basically put all of the cubes in a big pile next to the board somewhere. So what happens at the start of each round is you will roll the dice. If you don't know how to play the game, this, this is basically the core mechanism. Um, so one player will roll the dice, put the dice on there like that, and then each player has one of these wind roses. So let me just zoom in a little bit on this to show you this wind rose. So this is a... comes in two pieces, and I don't know if you can see, but the, these are raised areas. And what will happen is, let's say your wind rose is there like this, and let's say we'd rolled those dice, each player chooses two of those dice to use. So for example, I might say, well, I'm, I'm going to choose the pink six and I'm going to choose the purple three. Now, my choice does not affect the other players. Other players could choose exactly the same dice or their own dice. And then what you do is I've chosen the pink six, which means I take six pink cubes and I put them in the number six space. If I chose the purple three, it means I choose, I take three purple cubes, one, two, three, and we put them in the three section. So basically, the number on the dice determines how many cubes you get, but also where those cubes go. So why don't you always take the higher number? Because surely more cubes is better. Well, yeah, more cubes is better. But then what happens is, after everybody has chosen which dice to use, this will rotate one space, and then you take out all of the cubes that is in this section with the arrow. And they are the only ones that you can spend on that turn. And if you ever rotate uh the, the the wheel to a section which is empty you get a penalty and penalties in this game are really 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 harsh so you want to avoid that but that's the core mechanism of the game you choose two dice at the start of each round that tells you how many cubes you well the color of the cubes how many you get and where you put them you then put them into your wheel so basically over the course of the game you're going to be adding cubes uh into here like this etc etc and then eventually it will rotate round you take the cubes out and they are the ones that you've got to spend on that particular turn. Anyway, I'm, I'm telling you more about the rules. This should just be an unboxing video. Um, what else have we got? We've got some extra wooden pieces here. Um, so each player will get uh, a barge, which will start off here. And then there are these dock workers. These are new. So these aren't in Macau, but you have these dock workers. Uh, and these will be placed randomly on the various um, docks in the game. And you can go around and you can pick those up and deliver them to where they want to go. So that, that's a new thing. Uh, what else have we got? We've got some other stuff as well. I can't remember. What. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a counter that starts off on the canal. Um, yeah, there's the, I think these are from an expansion. Yeah, so some extra wooden components. There's also a whole extra sheet of punch board. Um, so there is a round track. In the game. I'm not quite sure how we're going to fit this all on the table on Friday, but 
that's what Friday's for. Friday I will be setting this up and I will be working out what goes where. Okay, so as you can see, there's a whole sheet of extra counters here. These are the goods markers. Uh, in the base game, uh, in the classic version of the game, these are these are thick card. Uh, in the deluxe version, which you'll see in a minute, they are acrylic. So these will be randomly placed at the start of the game on these spaces here. Uh, and you'll be buying these and then taking ownership of it. Anyway, right, let's look at... Let's get that out of the way. This is the round track and the card display. So one of the things on the punch board, if I can find it... Where is it? Where is it? Is it there? No, it's somewhere. There were two extra sheets, wasn't there? Is it on? Ah, there it is. Yeah, so two extra sheets with all sorts of extra stuff. And this here is the round track. So what happens, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, these are the 12 rounds in the game. And what you do is you put that over there to indicate you're in round one. And then in round two, you're on there, round three, etc. So this, this tracks the passage of time. Now, cards are a very big part of this game. Uh, the game comes with two decks of cards. Can't remember exactly how many cards there are, and the ones that come with the in the main box. These are the these are the icon only ones. So I'm just going to put my other camera on, and we'll show you some of these cards. Now, what they've done is they've actually kept uh, the uh, they've not translated the name of the card, so it is more thematic. That is a Yenova Brander. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but that's what it is. If anybody knows what these are. Uh, then let me know. But these these are the cards, um, and there's three types of cards. There are craftsmen, which are the ones with the uh, green backgrounds. Uh, there are buildings, which are the ones with the blue backgrounds, and there are also districts. Let me just open the other pack. Uh, so yeah, lots and lots of buildings, and then districts. So these are the districts. Uh, and they come in the five, the five different different colours. It's somebody who makes gin, right? Excellent. There we go. So that is somebody who makes gin. <laughs> um, so as I mentioned, these are these are the ones with the icons. So as I say, when you're learning the game for the first time, you probably have no idea what that does. You can refer to the uh, addendum, the glossary, and it will tell you what it does. Um, but if you also wanted to get the the one with the text on. And I'm just going to find that. So that is card 001, which is this one. So there you go. That is basically what the version with text on does, is it tells you exactly what that does. So it's basically, yeah, the text is on there. So this is the language independent card. And then this is the card. I believe these are in English uh, or German. Uh, it, it tells you what it what it does. So yeah, so after using one or more district maps for Plantage, which is the pink district, uh, you gain one orange resource. And if we just have a look at the coffee brander, what card is that? Card number 17. If anybody can guess what the icons do. Card number 17. It is if you are not in the first position on the Amstel Canal Advance One Space. So again, the iconography is pretty clear. Uh, this is basically a list of all of the markers, and it's basically saying if, if you're not in the first position, then you can advance one space on the canal. Anyway, lots of different cards with lots of different icons. I must make sure I don't get them mixed up later on. Um, and what's going to happen is every the, the decks of cards live here. And then every round, a certain number of cards are going to be dealt out. And everybody, every round, must take one card. And there is a penalty in this game. If you're at five cards and you have to take another one, then you get a penalty. Also, there's a penalty if you don't activate all of your cards by the end of the game. Um, one thing that is new, I will mention this for those people who know Macau. Uh, and let me just zoom in just so you can... In fact, let me show you this on the uh, on the other camera. Here, so this is the round tracker. And you will notice there's this plus seven. So what this means is, is if you make any deliveries in round one, they're worth an extra seven points each. And if you make a delivery in round two, six points each. So this is new. I don't remember this from Macau. Because in Macau, what you would do is you would spend your initial turns uh, building up the resources with no rush to deliver them. Well, now there is a bit more of a rush to deliver them. Uh, so yeah, so that's what that is. That is new. Down at the bottom, this is exactly the same as before. 
if you roll a six in round eight, it is changed into a one because there aren't six more rounds after round eight. Anyway, that's that. Uh, there's also some district majority scoring markers. These are new. So there is one of these for each district. And what you do at the start of the game is you give these a shuffle and you deal out one fewer than the number of players in the game. So for example, black and brown. And then at the end of the game, in addition to the normal scoring for the districts, which is three points for each of your ownership markers in a contiguous group, you also score majority scoring based on these districts. So this is the black district. I think that's the black one, might be the gray one. <laughs> Let me have a look at the other ones. No, it's the black one. Uh, so this black district is gonna score at the end of the game for whoever's got the most and the second most ownership markers and also the orange district. So that just changes things up a bit there. So yeah, so that's new. The dock workers are new. Um, what else is new? Uh, the, the points for early delivery. The other biggest change that I found, I did a test play of this on Saturday with Chuck and Jill. Thank you very much for that game. Um, but one of the new rules in this version is you don't have to spend all of your cubes on your turn. You are allowed to keep one cube from one turn to the next. And if you know Macau, uh, how difficult it is to get those combination of cubes together, this new rule makes the game a lot more accessible and potentially easier but it's um I, I found it a lot better because i found it sometimes a little bit frustrating in macau that you just couldn't manage to, you didn't manage to get those combos of cubes at the same time together uh, and now yeah you can keep one cube from one round to the next so that's 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 really handy oh apparently macau did have points for early delivery well shows you how much i know about it. <laughs> it's been a long time since i played macau so thank you very much for for letting me know um, do I feel the board is a little bit busy? Having played this game once, it's one of those ones where it might look busy at the start, but once you start playing, it, it doesn't look too busy. Right, I've made a complete mess of the board. Let's quickly, before we go shopping, have a look at the deluxe stuff. So we've got two deluxe boxes. The first one is the deluxe rondels. And these, I, I believe, are acrylic versions of the wooden ones. It says here... Uh, yeah, the acrylic components are covered by a clear protective film. Right, I am going to remove the clear protective film from here. So, assuming I can. So yeah, they've they've actually covered them in this film to protect them during shipping. But let's just peel that off. Uh, let's take this out. Yeah, it's basically exactly the same as a wooden component, but nicer. There we go. Right, so wooden component, uh, sorry, cardboard, cardboard versions, not wooden, uh, and then the acrylic version. So the contrast is is nicer, uh, it's thicker, it's chunkier. Yeah, the acrylic version is is very nice. So that's that's the first deluxe box. The second deluxe box. Let's see what's in here. I think this is uh, printed barges and dock workers. Yeah, I'm probably going to go to the other camera at this point. Come on. I damaged my nail earlier on today, so I'm trying to be a bit careful. I think they've stuck this with super glue. Oh, there we go. Getting it. Right. Okay, so what we've got in here, yeah, we've got some printed stuff. Let me show you this on the on the zoomed in camera. So this is one of the barges uh, that comes with the, the classic version of the game. And this is the barge from the deluxe version. Uh, the dock workers, these are the dock workers. And these are the dock workers from the deluxe version. So yeah, just nice nice printed printed things. Uh, no, in fact, that's, that's the wrong piece. I've shown you the boat rather than the barge. That's the version of that. Um, where's the barge? There's the barge. There's the barge, that's the version of that. Okay, so yeah, they're deluxe components for those. Uh, there is also the goods. So I mentioned the goods have got acrylic pieces. So these are the, the ones from the, the classic version. Thick cardboard chits. But the ones from the deluxe version are nice acrylic pieces. And these have also got um, uh, plastic coverings on to keep them... I'm trying to find, there you go. So I'm gonna just peel off 
the plastic covering. It's good that they've put these on so that there's no damage to them in shipping. There you go. So these are the uh, the acrylic versions of these, which are very, very nice. Um, what else have we got? There's lots and lots of these in the game. These are tokens that you use to, act, uh, to, to use your buildings, not activate your buildings, uh, use the buildings. And, and again, there are acrylic versions of these pieces as well. So yeah, these are really nice. Uh, and I'm going to have to sit there tonight in front of TV and, and, and peel off all of the little plastic on each of these. Um, I think that's it. So yeah, quite a lot of acrylic pieces in this, in the deluxe version. Uh, and lots of the uh, the screen printed meeples and boats and everything else. And there is the big Queen's coin. It's not a boat. No, it's a barge. <laughs> so yeah, very nice limited challenge coin edition with a picture of Stefan Feld on it. Um, so yeah, big, thick, chunky, chunky coin. I think that's everything. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to spend the evening properly putting this away, properly punching out all of the pieces and, and having a look through. Playthrough is this Friday. So if you're interested, this Friday, uh, 8 o'clock live, if you're able to watch it live, or you can watch it later on. It's on. It'll be on the channel uh, from 8 o'clock on Friday, or you can watch it anytime later on. Um, but yeah, going to be doing a tutorial and playthrough of this. Nick and Gemma are coming over. We're going to be doing a three-player game of it on Friday night. And that's it. That is uh, That is everything. So yeah, I will see some of you for the playthrough on Friday or for other videos later on this week. Until next time, take care, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.